So just recently, Microsoft announced the Copilot Plus PCs, and we need to talk about it. So first of all, <laughs> this Copilot Plus PCs is a ridiculous name, just in my opinion. Okay, I'm just giving you guys my opinion plus what I think about these new AI PCs. This should have been just Windows on ARM or Windows ARM PCs. If you think Copilot PCs are the same type of PCs that you're using, then you're wrong, my brother, because these are ARM powered PCs, which means it's not a regular type of PC like that we are using right now. For example, the Intel x86 or AMD. If you have Intel or AMD PCs, those are all like x86 architecture type. But this one is different. Yes, it is running the Windows 11, but not the regular Windows 11. It's running the Windows 11 made for ARM. If you have an Android phone, then you may know that there is this thing called Snapdragon, which is powering your phone. So this is a new ARM based CPU for Windows, and it is completely different than the traditional x86 uh, and, you know, CPUs like Intel and AMD. And obviously it has some pros and cons. So we're going to talk about that in this video. So now, uh, okay, <laughs> there are a couple of things that Microsoft announced. So there is this new feature called Recall Instantly. And it is probably the most controversial feature that they have added because it takes screenshot of your desktop every second whatever you do on your desktop like your let's say your browsing the internet or doing some document work it takes the screenshot of those things that you're doing or actually everything that you're doing on your pcs and it is actually a ai related feature so basically by doing this it remembers everything you do on your screen and you can ask AI to find something that you did previously. Let's say you visited a website and there is something, let's say a, a email address that you needed and you should have saved, but you forget. But you can just simply ask the AI and it will just give you that email. Uh, it might sound somewhat of a really cool feature, but at the same time, your privacy is in danger. This is the first time ever that I felt like my privacy is actually in danger. Up until now, I was okay with all the Windows telemetries, okay? But this one is like the most scariest one. Just imagine you're doing something on your PC. Let's say you're visiting the site or doing some document work or maybe some other confidential work, maybe passwords for different things or anything. You know what I'm trying to say here. So just imagine okay you're being watched <laughs> all the time now here is one thing okay you can turn this feature off good very good but by default it will be turned on you know there are non-tech savvy people they just use the windows the way it comes they don't care about anything okay they just want to use their pc for everything you know what i'm trying to say here so again yeah this is scary and According to Microsoft, everything that is recorded or screenshotted, as far as I know, I think this is by taking a screenshot so AI can just, you know, take a look at the screenshot and remember everything you did. So that's how it is. Will entirely be stored on your device. So it's all happening locally. And you can also delete them. It looks cool, but uh, in my opinion, this is scary. And I don't know if we can trust the Microsoft. <laughs> Maybe for some people, it will be useful who wants to remember something while they are doing work and you can just simply call AI for something that you missed or forgot. Maybe it is somewhat useful for everyone, but still your privacy is in danger. Even though Microsoft says that everything will be stored on your device, but I doubt. There is no way me using this feature. No way. <laughs> and another thing, maybe some of you guys are wondering, is this feature coming to regular Windows? No, sadly, no. Or maybe luckily, no. Maybe in coming futures, it will be available for regular Windows users too, like the x86 one, Intel and AMD ones. But as of me making this video, this is only available for the Copilot Plus PCs. Again, terrible name. It should have been Windows on ARM. Now, 
there are a few other things that I want to talk about. So first of all, as I already explained, the Copilot PCs are different, or just now on, let's call it Windows and ARM is different. It's completely different than what we are using right now, x86 or Intel ones, okay? It's powered by the Snapdragon, which is a ARM-based processor. So also the Windows that is running on these type of PCs is also different, even though it looks similar, but it is actually different. And because of that, most of the Windows apps actually doesn't work. Actually, none of the Windows apps actually work on ARM or developers of the software have to make changes or have to make their softwares compatible with the new Windows on ARM thingy or PCs, not thingies. <laughs> so let's say, for example, Adobe, you know, uh, Lightroom and Photoshop are actually already work on ARM processors and they are also working on making other apps compatible with Windows on ARM or Windows 11 ARM. So uh, as of making this video, it looks like, let's say if you use Adobe Premiere Pro for video editing or something, it won't run. Maybe by the time you watch this video, maybe Adobe will release the Premiere Pro for uh, Windows 11 ARM, but yeah, you got the idea. So the software makers have to, you know, make the new app for ARM because the traditional Windows programs simply doesn't work. Now, it's not like you can't run regular Windows apps on Windows 11 ARM. You can, but there will be a emulation. And as you know, emulation is bad. It is slow and some things might not even work. Just like, you know, uh, like Linux, you know, there is this thing called Wine. With Wine, you can run Windows apps and games on Linux, but it is slow plus, uh, it isn't compatible everything. Not all apps and games can be run. So it is kind of similar thing. Since Microsoft owns the Windows, maybe they know something better and maybe the emulators will be faster, but no matter what, it isn't going to give you the native performance. So it's still like whatever. And with that, maybe some of you guys are thinking, is this the end of x86 regular PCs? Actually, no. Um, the Windows ARM and Win Windows x86 are different things and they're gonna coexist together. There is no way Microsoft can just move on to the ARM, just like Apple, because, you know, Windows is like really popular operating system and almost everybody in this world is using the x86 PCs. Maybe in like five to 10 years, maybe even 20 years later, yeah, that is possible, but for now, no. Windows ARM is going to be Windows ARM and Windows x86 is going to be x86 and they, they, they're going to be a separate thing for a while. Now, there is another thing. Later this year, Intel and AMD are also going to announce their own AI PCs. And these are going to be the x86 AI PCs, the regular ones, but with the new CPUs, which will also have the neural processing unit, just like we have in this Snapdragon CPUs. And according to some benchmarks, Snapdragon's NPU is actually the most powerful NPU out there. It can perform more tasks compared to other NPUs. Now, there is something Microsoft did absolutely wrong. Okay, so as you know, Windows 11 came with new feature called Windows Subsystem for Android, which lets you run Android apps on Windows almost natively. It was really good, but sadly, recently they announced that they are going to end the support for Windows Subsystem for Android, which is like, again, really sad. But I think here Microsoft made a big mistake, just my opinion. So as you know, uh, Windows on ARM is new and doesn't have much games and apps compared to regular Windows, even compared to Linux actually. So it's fresh, new. So Microsoft should have added this feature to the Windows 11 ARM or whatever they call it. Uh, I, I, I even forget the Copilot Plus PCs, okay? They should have added the Windows subsystem for Android. Maybe more people would buy this because even if there aren't like many apps and games available but with the 
Windows subsystem for Android, you can have millions, billions of apps that you can run, all thanks to Android. And this should also join with the Google and put the Google Play Store in it. I think that could have been the best feature in Copilot Plus PCs, but it looks like Microsoft is too much focused on Copilot or AI. Just They just want to promote the AI, everything and everywhere AI only. So yeah, this is just my opinion. Windows subsystem for Android could have been a big deal for Copilot Plus PCs. Now, the last thing. <laughs> you can actually buy the Copilot Plus PCs right now. Okay, uh, we have the Dell XPS 13 and many other actually, even the Microsoft Surface Pro is here. And there is one more thing that is changing with the Copilot Plus PCs or Windows on ARM PCs, the new system requirements. There is minimum system requirement of 16 gigabyte. This is like the minimum system requirement for Windows on ARM. And storage, one terabyte SSD. You know, there was time actually even now, some PCs come with 250 gigabytes of SSD. But with the Windows on ARM, that's not enough because 250 gigabytes of storage will be taken away by AI features alone. So for the Windows on ARM devices, one terabyte of SSD is like must have. And these new system requirements will make the device a little bit uh, you know, pricey. Yeah, Windows on ARM is somewhat cool, except some weird features in Windows, but otherwise it is actually cool. ARM is actually better than x86 in terms of power, performance, and everything. Actually, it is better, but there is no way Microsoft can just switch to the ARM only, just like Apple did. You know, Apple actually completely transitioned to the ARM only, but for Microsoft, it is going to be hard, okay? It is gonna take maybe 10 to 20 more years. If everything goes well, maybe within like five to 10 years. It's gonna be slow process. And I think that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm actually sweating right now. It's too hot here. <laughs> now, let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about this new Copilot Plus PCs? Uh, do you agree with the name? Is it cool or is it just uncool? In my opinion, it is uncool. The best name should have been Windows ARM PCs. And what do you think about the new features, especially the recall feature in Windows 11? Are you going to use it? Would you, just give me your thoughts in the comments, okay? That's all. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestion or you want to talk anything about the new Windows Copilot Plus PCs, you can just do the comment. And we can try to have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.